Goat yoga. It's the thing, and it is a trend sweeping Arizona and Oregon with hundreds of, I assume, people on waiting lists to try it out. Goat yoga. So classes take place on a goat farm. Baby and full-size goats are so cute. They just wander around and sometimes they'll climb on your back while you're trying to get all stretchy and limber. <laughs> We get a lot of that in the beginning. People are like, really, you guys, goat yoga? So I think at the beginning, they think there's goat poop everywhere and it's hippies out in a forest meditating with goats. It's not. We're a totally legit party goat experience. It was hard. I mean, it, it was definitely a challenge trying to get in the right angle without them falling off or stepping in bad places. And, and look, the goat has a scarf. Instructors say people who live in urban areas are drawn to goat yoga because it's a place where you can connect with nature. But how far is the drive? That's amazing. What I think is amazing that that goat is tolerant enough to wear a scarf and some headdress.